Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. We are going to review five Honeywell interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Just a quick disclaimer, we are not affiliated with Honeywell, and these are not official interview questions for Honeywell. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. Honeywell puts a lot of focus on our local and global impact. So we seek to hire those with the same values. What do you know about our company values and how do they align with your values? It's important to research Honeywell, its core values, and the keywords used on the website and in the mission statement. Incorporate those components in your answer. Discuss your values and how they align with the values at Honeywell. Be prepared to discuss the global efforts currently underway and research any local charity efforts that Honeywell supports. Discuss these points with enthusiasm and demonstrate a desire to be a part of those efforts. I have always volunteered with local organizations. This includes the animal shelter, the children's hospital, and our local food bank. I believe no matter how busy we are, we always have time to give back. Your values and interest in your global impact are impressive. It's one reason I am so attracted to your organization. Question number two. Typical corporate culture is something that we work to avoid here at Honeywell. Tell me about your ideal workplace culture. How you answer this question will help the interviewer assess not only your expectations, but how realistic your expectations are. Honeywell's statement is, we believe changing the world begins with fostering a culture of inclusion, diversity, performance, and an innovation. This is a place where you can grow. Talk to the interviewer about how ideal your workplace culture aligns with Honeywell's values. I am seeking a role with an organization like Honeywell where employees matter. This means fair wages, regular opportunities for continued education, and strong internal growth opportunities. Question number three, how do you like to encourage ideas in others? Your answer to this question will offer the interviewer a glimpse into your leadership style. They want to know how your interpersonal skills will complement their team. Describe the methods you use to incentivize, praise and recognition, competitions or rewards and bonuses. I like to encourage other people to be creative in their thinking and present ideas to the company, no matter how off the wall they may seem. Some of our most successful employees are confident in their ability to bring forward their unique ideas. I encourage participation through an open door policy and strong praise for those who show initiative. Question number four, how do you manage conflict with your coworkers? Your answer to this question can inform the interviewer of the level of your interpersonal communication skills. It will offer insights into whether or not you incite conflict, promote harmony, or lean towards defensive posturing. We all have ideas and things we want to contribute. We also share moments of heightened sensitivity where we're dealing with things that amplify our emotions. So no matter what the situation, I communicate non-defensively at every turn. Let's say someone shares a new idea they put time and energy into. Even though their idea isn't sustainable, I'll praise and validate their efforts, offering to take time to consider its merits before shutting it down. Question number five. What sources do you look to when solving complicated problems? The interviewer wants to know if you are resourceful when facing complicated situations. Show the interviewer that you are knowledgeable, equipped with sound judgment and analytical skills and are up to any task. Offer various examples to display your understanding of the nature of this question. When I am faced with a complicated problem, I look to the resources that my current company has provided me. The answer is almost always in there. If it's a moral dilemma rather than a knowledge-based dilemma, I will ask my supervisor for his thoughts and opinions since I value him as a mentor and expert in our industry. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.